Now let's look at the relationship between bit depth and dynamic range. A bit depth of 16-bit, which is the current CD standard, provides us, as I said before, with about 65,000 different recordable levels and a dynamic range of 96 decibels, which isn't bad. I mean, 96 dB is a lot of dynamic range. But let's take a look at 24-bit. As you remember, it provides us with about 17 different recordable levels, but a walloping dynamic range of 144 decibels. That increase in dynamic range doesn't mean that 24-bit can actually sound louder. It can't, because there is a limitation, and that limitation is called 0 dB full scale, which is the absolute limit of your A to D converter. It's the highest amplitude you can record without clipping either positively or negatively. That's the limit, whether you're 16-bit or 24-bit. So that extra dynamic range provided by 24-bit doesn't make it louder. It actually increases the amount of soft sounds you can record. And it's also important to note that current analog circuitry limits dynamic range to about 115 dB anyway, so there's just no way you could take advantage of 144 dB even if you wanted to. In the next chapter, I'll talk a little bit more about this, but for now, I want to talk about the way logic processes sound internally with its floating point architecture. By processing audio even in a 32-bit floating point world, logic provides a dynamic range that is so huge that it's virtually impossible to clip or distort logic internally. It provides a walloping 1,536 dB of dynamic range. Now, because this exists totally inside logic, our limitation of 0 dB full scale does not exist because we're not doing any A to D conversion. So internally, logic, no matter how much processing you're doing, cannot be clipped. But what does this really mean for our dynamic range? 